This is a NIOSH certified N95 respirator. Uh, you can buy something similar to this at a hardware store. There's also a number of locations in Sacramento and Butte County that are giving them away for free. A respirator, when used correctly, can help filter the air and make it safe for you to breathe. N95 respirators cannot be used in atmospheres that have asbestos, that don't have enough oxygen, and it's not good at capturing chemicals or vapors in the air. It is good, however, at capturing smoke particles. Uh, the first thing they suggest is to stretch the rubber bands on the back. Then you're going to cup the respirator in your hand, put it over your mouth, and I may sound a little muffled here. Then you're going to take one strap, put it on the top of your head, and the second strap is going to go behind. Then you're going to take your hands and push the nose piece down. Then to do a user seal check, you're going to take your hands, you're going to cover a lot of the filter, and you're going to breathe in. And as you do so, you can feel any leaks around here that may need some adjustment on the respirator. Similarly, you can do a positive seal check where you do the same covering, and then you blow out. Some respirators may have an exhalation valve here. If you do a positive user seal check, you're going to want to cover that exhalation valve. I'm then going to take it off in a, in a manner opposite of how I put it on. For storage of the respirator, you can put it in a Ziploc bag or a container to make sure it keeps clean. When it does get too dirty or if it gets dirty on the inside or if it becomes hard to breathe in, you're going to want to throw it out and get a new one. A respirator like this, if you take good care of it and keep it clean, you can use it uh, multiple times.